Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergzer Arcade at BergzerArcade.net and today we're going to continue on with our RPG character controller but today we're going to go ahead jump in and we're going to learn well we're going to start learning about other blend types. Let me just go ahead and maximize this screen. I guess it was. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead, we'll jump into our animator and if we go ahead and take a look at the way we have it set up right now uh, we have a blend tree of blend trees. Some people like this, some people don't but right now we've up until now, I should say, we've only been using the 1D. And there are other types, so the next few videos, we're going to go ahead and cover these. So first up, I want to go over the 2D Simple Directional. And for that, I'm actually going to come out to the base. And I'm going to go ahead and create another blend tree. And we'll just go ahead, we'll jump into here. And right off the bat, I'm going to select it. And I'm going to select a 2D Simple Directional. Now, what this is good for is it allows you to blend animations based on two different inputs. So if we look down here at the parameters, it says forward and forward. Well, we have two that we've been using, the forward and the turn. So I'm going to go ahead and select turn for the second one. And I'm just going to ignore the little arrow that pops up. I'm not sure why it's there. Uh, but we still get our list of motions like we did before. And of course, if we click, we get the choice to add motions are blend trees. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple motions here. I'm actually going to add three to start off with. And after the second one, we get this box that shows up. And we notice that our motions, the list is a little bit different. Now we're getting position X and position Y. And that corresponds to this box here. Think of it as a graph. You, know, you have an X and a Y. And you're mapping the inputs that you're going to be taking, the parameters here, the forward and the turn to these X and Y. So the more X, the more Y we position stuff, it'll be a little more clear, I think, well, once we start jumping into it. So I'm gonna take my idle, and I'm gonna drop that right in the middle, and I'm gonna leave it at zero, zero. And we'll see here that uh, we got this little circle showing up, and this is where it's positioned on our, our little grid, or our graph. So I'm gonna close that down. I'm gonna open up this walk backwards, and I'm going to put it up at the top. And we get this little warning here saying that they're too close together. we got to move them. Uh, since forward is on X, I'm going to go ahead and make this negative 1, which puts it back there. And to be honest, I screw these up a lot on um, which, which is X and which is Y. So if I got it backwards, we'll switch it in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and take the walk forward now. I'll drop it here. This time, I'm going to go ahead and put it on 1 for the X. So though, this is it over here. So I've got this nice little line set up where we have an idle state, we have a forward, and we have a walk backwards. And we'll set two more up just for going side to side. And for that, I'm going to take our strafing. And just in case you're wondering, because I have not shown this on a recording yet, here are the settings I have for mine. Basically, you want the angle or the average velocity to be something on the, the X, but the Y and Z you want to be negative. So I'm going to go ahead, we'll drop this into one, and we need the uh, right strafe. So right strafe walking right here. We'll go ahead, we'll drop that in. And this time we don't care about X. So I'm actually going to leave X as zero. And for the left, I'm going to go negative one. And same thing for the right, zero on the X, and we'll go positive one. So we got this nice little graph set up here. I keep calling it a graph because I, I just, it's the way my brain works. But uh, you have your left, your right, your forward, your back, and your idle. Let's take a look to see how this works. I'm gonna position this a little bit better. So as we move forward, as we get more forward input, he moves forward, and we see the little dot move to where the input is, and of course, as we move backwards, we see the little dot, and it highlights what animation and what blends are going on. Now, of course, you can go ahead and position these differently to get, get more of the blend that you're looking for. And we'll go ahead, we'll put this on zero, and we'll also go left and right. And of course, you can actually blend these as well. So now he's going left and forward, backwards. There we go. 
this is actually pretty cool. Some people prefer to do it this way. The downside is, is that you can't have more animations in one direction than one. If you want to start doing that, we're going to have to look at the freeform direction. And we're going to look at that in the next video. I want to keep these separate just so if, you, if you're looking just for something like the simple directional, you have one quick little video here showing you how to set it up and basically how it works. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I can be a pretty chatty guy over there when I'm not walking through a forest or being stalked by eagles and falcons, lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>